Hello, my name is Frank Martinez. I am a senior at the University of North Texas, majoring in professional and technical communications. And this is my presentation over my internship experience at Zoom. So today I'll be talking about how I got the internship, the company, uh, my job duties, the tools I use for the internship, some work products, what I've learned so far, the UNT courses that have prepared me for this internship, the challenges, and what I would change. How I got the internship. Um, so I started out by looking for internships through LinkedIn and Google. Um, I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn. Um, I went to the search section and looked for internships and um, I would get advice from uh, tech on faculty uh, members um, on what was the right direction for internships and um, how I knew which one was the right one for me. And so I applied for several entry level internships. I made sure um, to, to see the description if um, they wanted an experienced technical writer or uh, beginners. And so uh, I did apply for a beginner internship, um, several of them. And I was rejected um, several times. And um, eventually uh, I stumbled upon a post by Dr. Kim on LinkedIn um, for a technical writing position um, internship at Mr. Cooper. Um, and so I applied and um, they emailed me for uh, scheduling a phone call. And um, I attended that phone call for with the intern recruiter. And we just talked about um, my experience in technical writing and my education um, and all that sort. Um, and eventually got an email that they wanted to have a Zoom interview with me. Um, and this um, went well um, as I did land the internship. And um, I started in this summer program in June this year. And so I started out with Mr. Cooper as a technical writing intern for the risk and compliance department. Um, so Mr. Cooper is a home loan service in the US. They um, focus on mortgages for homeowners um, so they can buy their home. Um, and so I learned how their de documentation process works at Mr. Cooper. And I practiced editing and creating documents for them. And that's what uh, me and my mentor for focused on throughout the summer. Um, she helped me use their um, uh, document uh, program, which was Archer. And this is where I learned how the repository worked. Um, it was very automatic. Um, all you had to do really was edit them, the documents, um, and like I learned how to create them. And so I was learning all these um, things about Mr. Cooper to eventually be taken over to Zone and apply what I've learned um, to that company. And so I did transition to Zoom um, as a technical writer still for the risk and compliance department over at Zoom. And Zoom is a real estate service that helps um, home buyers and sellers complete their transactions. So um, it's similar to Zillow, but um, they have some better perks. And um, what um, I started at Mr. Cooper was I was helping them set up a repository, um, which they didn't have like uh, Mr. Cooper. They didn't have a documentation process or um, a technical writer. So I was the first technical writer at uh, Zoom, and I currently am still working as a technical writer. Um, and some of the things that I worked at, uh, and still am working at Mr. Cooper, I mean, at Zoom, uh, I create and edit the policies, um, standards, job aids, um, and all social documents. And my job duties, um, again, is to create and edit these uh, documents such as job aids, policies, procedures, and standards. Um, 
and I created my own template for these documents for Zoom. And so uh, Zoom have all these really old um, documents that weren't branded to their company. So I created a template and I uh, converted these old documents to the new template. And, uh, and as I was putting those um, old documents into the new template, I was editing them, making sure that they were correct. Um, and then once I got it approved by the uh, VP, I would go ahead and publish it to the um, Zoom employee website. And that is still my duty um, at Zoom. So some of the tools I've used at Zoom uh, would be SharePoint. Uh, Shampoo, SharePoint was a big part of my internship um, because it, it was something I wasn't familiar with. Um, it was something that I had to learn by myself and do my own research. Um, so it was a, a very challenging um, part of my internship, but it was um, a great experience. Another tool I use is Archer. Archer is the Mr. Cooper software that they use and program for their documentation process and for all editing creation of documents. Um, Outlook for emails, Teams for meetings, Word, um, Add Zone, that's where I create my um, documents and the Chicago manual style is uh, what I refer to to make sure they're uh, correct grammarly. And these are my work, some of my work products. Um, so to the left, that's a job aid. And what a job aid does, it, it walks um, an employee through a specific type of form. Um, and then so you can see this is a new document request submission. And so what this is for, um, for on the SharePoint site, I created a SharePoint form um, where the employees could submit a type of document they needed or a, a document they needed um, work on, like an update or um, it was just wrong or something like that. Um, I created a form to where it has a couple of questions and they fill out these questions so I know um, what type of document it is, uh, what kind of work needs to be done, um, if it needs to be updated, if it needs to be on a new template. And then so um, this is what came out of it once it was done um, or a similar type of document. Um, and then to the right, this is a procedure. And what this is, is a um, it walks employees through the SharePoint site that um, I was a part of um, and it gives them all the details they need to know as they're going through the document submission process and how the cycle works and then how it will be um, um, approved by the VP and SharePoint. Um, so what that project was, um, where these two documents came from, um, I worked with a SME um, on a SharePoint site that they were creating. And so I guess that's what I was a SME to um, I took the knowledge I had from Mr. Cooper um, and I advised them on what would be a good idea for the documentation cycle and how it would be easier for the technical writer to edit and create these documents. And um, for the employers, how they could eventually look up the finished version of the documents and use them um, when needed. Um, and then so this took, um, several weeks, um, it, we started from scratch. Um, and as we went and created this SharePoint site for the company, I would create these documents. And um, with the SharePoint, we would always uh, find new uh, perks or faster ways to get things done. So I would always be updating these documents as I went. Um, there were so many times that these documents need to be um, updated. I'm, these um, are the current version of the document, um, but there's always some type of update with SharePoint that um, makes everything more efficient. So I'm sure um, these documents are gonna be updated soon. Um, and uh, next, 
um, what I've learned um, at uh, Zoom and Mr. Cooper is um, one of the things would be the corporate culture. Um, I went in uh, into this internship thinking um, something very different about corporate life. And um, Mr. Cooper and Zoom showed me a very different and um, very positive aspect and view on working for a company big like um, Mr. Cooper and Zoom. And so um, this was a really nice thing to learn because now I know that, um, you know, other options as well have the potential to be um, as great. Um, and another thing I've learned uh, was the uh, finance industry. I knew nothing about um, mortgage, mortgages and loans and how to um, fill out a mortgage loan and federal loans. Um, all that sorts and um at mr cooper they uh put me through training about uh all these sorts of loans and how to handle them um the the words everything um just so i could be familiar about um you know what i was writing about and what these documents were referring to um <clears throat> And as well, I learned um, technical writing, um, you know, it was a very different perspective to, you know, uh, the courses at UNT, um, I guess, because um, I was actually applying everything I've learned in a real life scenario. And this was really nice um, because I felt, I felt prepared for this and um, although I was really nervous that this was my first internship, um, I was comfortable in what I was writing and what I was doing. You know, I was making sure these documents were following um, grammatical, um, you know, rights and um, making sure the document is well spaced, well read. Um, it speaks to a, a um, broad audience, but also to a specific audience. Um, so I think this um, narrowed down um, what type of technical writing I want to go to, and this was a great experience. Um, and see, these are some of the courses that um, helped me prepare for the internship that I think are really handy. Um, and uh, for example, um, technical, uh, Techcom 4250 uh, Procedures and Manuals um, is a great course um, that I'm really glad I took um, because it goes over, um, you know, how a manual or a procedure document should um, look like, uh, how, what type of document you should create for what type of, you know, topic. Um, and technical editing is one of the uh, biggest ones I was really happy that I had taken. Um, I actually took this class right before the internship started, um, and this is where I got to learn the Chicago manual style. Um, so I was very fresh on how the manual worked. Um, I was able to um, locate some uh, of the chapters in the manual really fast just because um, I would still have some questions when I was writing a document. So this was very handy. Um, some of my biggest challenges um, for this internship would be um, working from home, um, just because I was used to always um, being at work all the time. Um, so this was something I had to get used to. I was always used to um, being on my feet, walking around everywhere. Um, and so to be to be sitting down in front of a desk for uh, the whole day was a very big uh, shift, um, which um, was a bit of a challenge when I first started. Um, time management, um, you know, the deadlines and making sure that um, these documents are getting turned in at the appropriate time while, you know, you're working on other documents is something that um, I had a little bit of a challenge with, but um, it's all about, you know, managing yourself well and making sure that you're giving each um, 
document the appropriate amount of time. Um, SME communication, um, everyone has different types of language and um, shortcuts um, and abbreviations. And um, this was a challenge just because I um, was new to the um, mortgage and finance industry. So there were some of the um, language that I didn't understand from the SME. So um, I would uh, have a little bit of a challenge with that. But um, as time went by, I would, you know, catch on to the words faster. Um, document cycles. Um, I was not familiar with repositories at all. And this can correlate as well with SharePoint. Um, as I was creating uh, with the SME, the SharePoint uh, repository site, I was getting to know more of how documents go back and forth with the SME and uh, the approval process and how it should be, what makes sense, who gets it first, um, and all that topics. Um, and this was a challenge just because I was new to um, you know all of the all of this type of um, documentation um but once i started seeing it every day especially over the summer when this was the only thing i was working on um i got the hang of it and it was a really great benefit <clears throat> and another thing that was a challenge with um html um and xml as well um i had very um few experience with um, coding and um, I wish I had uh, spent a lot more time with coding um, and this did uh, trip me up a little bit but um, I am getting better at it for sure. What I would change? Um, so I guess I will start with um, the coding um, I think I would like to see more um, coding in the TechCom program, or at least as an option uh, for TechCom students somehow. I did see it a couple times, um, and I did, there was a class that uh, focused a little bit on it, but I think it would be a good idea to maybe have an intro to it. Um, and have it as an option for uh, tech comp students. I think it would be a great benefit. I see a lot of job postings that are asking for coding. Um, so I think it would be a great idea. Another thing I would change would be um, some SME experience. Um, I think uh, technical writers and engineers um, have, are gonna coexist a lot and having um, maybe students have some type of project with um, a SME or maybe a mock-up um, process to where uh, the students can see how the process of going back and forth with the document um, will be like. Um, I think this is very important. I would have loved to see that or experience some type of mock-up. And the last thing would be, um, TechCom options. Um, I think technical or just technical communications is um, something that can be so broad. Um, there's so much type of writing and communicating technically. Um, and I think this would be a, a really good source for um, students who are still questioning what field they will want to go to. Um, technical writing can present itself in almost every type of industry. Um, so I think it's a good idea to show um, this option to where, um, uh, yes, it's the same job, but um, you know, there's so many types of um, industries that are looking for technical writers, um, which is just something that I observed um, as I went through the UNT program and the internship. So this will wrap up my presentation for my experience at Zone as an intern. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much.